Hi, if you came to this video, then most likely you have a problem with pumping up big and voluminous biceps. In this video I will give you 5 tips to help you pump up your big biceps as effectively as possible. All these advices I will give not only on the basis of the 12 years experience but also on the basis of scientific researches. References to researches I will attach in the description. So rest assured, all these exercises are most effective and guaranteed to improve your biceps. Let us not hesitate to start. One tip concerns basic and isolation exercises. I think you've heard the expression, if you want big biceps, then pump your back with basic exercises and forget about all sorts of isolating exercises. Now I can confidently refute this fact. Let us turn to a recent 2021 study that compared biceps growth from basic exercises and from biceps isolation exercises to groups of men took part in the study. Group 1 performed dumbbell pulls in an incline. Group 2 performed biceps dumbbell curls. According to the study, dumbbell pulling was beneficial for biceps growth, but at the same time, dumbbell lifting was twice as useful for biceps growth. One conclusion that the exercises on the back really grow the biceps. They should be considered as a way of hypertrophy of the biceps. We do exercises on the back with large weights, which affects the strength of our biceps. To conclusion that after the exercises on the back, it is necessary to add isolated exercises on the biceps in order to accelerate their growth. It would seem that we work with large weights on the back and in doing so we strain the biceps. But why is the growth of biceps stronger in isolation exercises? And here we come to the second tip. And the second tip is to use exercises with good bicep stretching. I found a fresh study about better biceps hypertrophy. More specifically, a study of the amplitude of the movement. You will be amazed at the results. Two groups of people also participated in the experiment. The one C group performed biceps flexion in the upper range of motion from the middle to the top and the two in group fully extended the arm and reached the middle of the lift, but only from the bottom. The first group had peak tension and the second group had good stretching. And according to the study, the group that lifted the weight from the lower point to the halfway point had three times more biceps growth. Why this happened? Most likely, the reason is that when we do a biceps exercise and give a good stretch, that very stretch gives a greater stimulus for hypertrophy. That is, when the exercise is performed at the lowest point of the movement, in this case the biceps stretches better under load and as a result grows better we can draw three conclusions from the results of the study one conclusion is that you should always work to your full amplitude if you work with a barbell lower it all the way down if you work with dumbbells lower them all the way down as well two conclusion choose exercises for your biceps where they will stretch well these are dumbbell lifts on an inclined bench and biceps exercises in the lower block three Conclusion, maximal biceps growth. It is when you've reached your failure repetition that you can still do partial biceps lifts. And that will give you an extra boost for growth. Let us move on to tip three. This tip is about training volume on the biceps. I also found a study that involved three groups of people. Group one performed three biceps sets per week. Group two performed nine biceps sets per week. Group three performed 15 biceps sets per week. And in this study, group three won. This group had the strongest biceps growth. In general, you have to be careful not to overtrain. So you have to be smart. Tip 4. Since we're really talking about how to build big biceps, you should definitely know this tip. There is a 2018 study in which the first group did only biceps flexions, mindlessly doing mechanical work. Two group of people tried to establish a neuromuscular connection. That is, they tried to lift weight by squeezing a muscle group. That is, squeezing the biceps. According to the study, the two in group did not just lift the projectile, but used the biceps as a tool to lift the projectile. That is, they used a neuromuscular connection. The growth of biceps in the second group was twice as much as in the first group, which simply performed mindless mechanical work. I think every one of you has heard this advice at least once in your life, especially from old school bodybuilders, from Arnold who said that you need to make the connection between your brain and your muscles. Many people think this advice doesn't work, but as you can see, research confirms that it does. Tip 5. Only pumping exercises. Many people, after doing a back workout, leave only one exercise for the biceps, and that is exclusively for pumping up. And this approach to biceps training will not bring good muscle growth, because any muscle group, to have a stimulus to hypertrophy, 
must adapt to new loads. And when you try to build muscle with small weights, it doesn't result in a growth stimulus. Choose 23 basic biceps exercises that you do on a regular basis. You will have one constant exercise, and the other you will change every workout for variety. So choose 23 constant exercises and try to increase the weights in them. Keep a diary to track your progress, and gradually you will see your biceps start to grow. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope it was useful to you. I wish you all big biceps.